Welcome to Violeta Inc. I'm Elena Casares. Today in Spotlight Cards, we have a holiday card using a digital image by Alex Siberian and some dice. I hope I'm not butchering your last name, Alex. The die is wrapped stitch frames from Memory Box. And we're also going to be using the Taylor Expressions Gold Foil Cardstock. These are the two frames that I cut is the large and the one following the larges. <laughs> um, I want to use a, a spot where is going to be the focus for this image and it's going to be the smaller frame. So the smaller frame is the one that I need to be the focus of my card. This is the one that I want it. And the big reason is one of the reasons is um, I am not very happy with the greenery the way I colored this. And I didn't want to use the whole image. It will be a very, very big image for a card, for this kind of card. Um, so I am trying to find which spots do I want to show. So I know I want the sphere to be in the card. Um, I want the orange to be in it. I want the berries or their blueberries. Uh, so now I'm going to be cutting it and I'm going to have a little bit of the candy cane. Now you can see that I am going to cut it with the bigger die, as big as the bigger die. The reason is because I want to have the space between the two frames is going to have a little bit of a blur illusion with some other paper that you will see in a moment. And I always cut more, not less, than what I'm supposed to, because I'm always afraid that I'm not going to have enough space. Um, okay, cutting, cutting that orange was very painful because it took a lot of texture for it to look that way. Adding a lot of texture with Prismacolor pencils. But there it is. Of course, I'm going to be checking again uh, to make sure that it is the right size. These frames are not quite four and a quarter. They're a little bit smaller. The larger is a little bit smaller. This is what we are going to use to give the illusion of blurring in between the two frames. So my image is going to be like this. And this vellum is going to be in between, in between those two frames. I was not sure how to cut it to get just that little place, the little space. So I went ahead and used the two frames. So technically we're getting three frames. This set of dies is a little bit smaller than my card note. My card note is, is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I'm trying to see if it's going to look correct. Does it look, look weird or something? And I like it. I like the look it gets with the vellum. Now I thought, well, what if I put vellum as the first layer? What would happen? So it's going to give a more soft look and we need the soft look now because I am using this very intense gold frames. It matches with my orange and with the sphere. This is double sided tape. And even though I had it right next to me, I did not use glue. I should have, but I did not. Now the next part you're gonna see that I'm showing you the top part of my note card. I cut this uh, just a moment ago and it was, I believe my, my blade is not sharp enough and it left little pieces of it. So I just got a nail file and filed it away. Again, our note card is four and a quarter by five and a half and the biggest frame that we have in the set is a little bit smaller. So we are going to add our image to the note card, making sure that it is center. 
I'm sure there's an easy way to do this, easier way to do this, but I didn't know it. So this is how I'm, I decided to do it. So I'm going to use double-sided tape. And yes, I did forget to use the glue so I can wiggle it again. And when I was putting the glue, I thought this is going to be a little bit too big. I still have a little bit of space because of the frame. So I decided to cut a little bit just to make sure. So very carefully put it in the center. Now this frame is going to have double sided foam tape. This foam tape is my best friend. I have rolls of it. Um, and I will link in the description box of where I get it. I get it at Amazon. Uh, but I'll put the exact link to it. Also the digital image from uh, Alex Iverian and the techniques used to color this image, which are from Vanilla Arts, designed by Amy Schulke. So this frame goes on top. Now we're going to add this very skinny frame to the image. Just making sure it fits, that it won't be too big or too small. It shouldn't because I cut it with the dies for that exact reason. I am using Connect glue from Gina K. I love this glue. So very carefully, this paper is very thin, it's vellum, uh, so it moves a lot. So just be patient with it. it, nothing will happen to it, it doesn't tear, tear as much, <laughs> um, so it'll be fine. Just making sure it goes all the way to the sides of the first frame. And now we're adding this second frame. I did consider using double-sided foam tape, but I am going to have more dimension in the middle uh, with the sentiment, so I decided not to. So this one is just double-sided tape. And my tape runner misfunction, so that's why I put again more. I prefer sentiments that I can die cut. And this time I decided to use something that says happy holidays, but I could not find something that said holidays. So I'm using this one that says happy. And then I am going to stamp the word holidays. I always have these strips in my desk because they're so easy to use to add a sentiment to any card. So I have different sizes. And I'm here just deciding which one I'm going to use and how I'm going to arrange them. I still want my um, ornament to be the centerpiece of it. So I do not mind using it on top of the um, flower and, you know, the greenery. This one seemed too, too long, especially because the holiday word is not very, very big. But first... We are going to use Wink of Stella. I did have to fight with this thing that was not working, but I am just adding a little sparkle to the whole image. Just a little bit here, a little bit there, where the light should be reflecting. That's where I'm trying to use more than just a little bit that I'm using in the other spaces. the lighter part of my image of any object in the image is what is getting this treatment. Well, that part is getting the darkest, but that's what I meant. Now in the middle, I want to use 
um, just a little dot of sparkle. Anything will do. Now we're going to stamp. This is from Altenew. It's called the Mega Grits. And I'm actually using the small one that says Holidays. And Bersa Fine Claire. I love this ink. It allows your... Somebody like me that is pretty bad at stamping. That's why you don't see me stamp a lot. Um, I'm actually surprised every time I lift the stamp and it looks neat and clear, not smush. So I, I love this. I lost my black one. I need to find one. I mean, I need to order one. So now that I added the little sparkle in the middle of the flower, uh, we can see that my happy, the A, is going to be perfect just to be right on top of it. And I decided to add the same kind of sparkle in the two sides of the word holidays. It's hard. I actually prefer the little sparkles that do not have glue in the back. So I can lift them with my little tool and then just use some glue. But I have these ones and I am going to use them because I'm not going to be throwing them away. Now is a good time for you to subscribe and click the notification button. So every time that we upload a video, you will be notified. Also, you can follow us in all our social media. Again, all the links are going to be in the description box. This is double-sided tape that I'm adding to the sentiment. And just glue it in. And of course, on all my dies that are words, I use it two or three times. I cut it two or three times. Once with the um, cardstock that I want on the top of, which is going to be this gold one. And then a couple or three times more with white cardstock because I like it when it looks stucky and it looks thick. I think that it just gives cards a more done look, a more, I did this just for you. And it didn't take me just two seconds. It took me a while. Look how elegant it looks. The word happy, um, the last uh, cardstock, the gold one, I'm putting a little bit off from the white one, just to have a little bit more of a offset. And we're just going to glue it in. So this is my final card. I hope you liked it. Follow us on all our social media. Don't forget to like this video and leave us a comment if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.